In organic farming, your weed control options are pretty limited, but a lot of technology is developing. So, this year we bought a weed zapper. We've got it, got it on the tractor, it's out in the field. Still learning a few things about it. Here's what you're gonna find out. A lot of farmers are a little bit apprehensive about having us come and zap their weeds because they don't know how the machine is going to, you know, really work out there. Um, and once they see it work, they see value in this machine. The weed zapper is a uh, generator mounted on the back of a tractor. Uh, it's got a three point bar on the front and the generator supplies the bar in the front that's mounted to the three point, a front three point. Um, and it hovers right above the bean crop and uh, kills all the weeds above the, above the beans. Uh, it is best for uh, row crops, mainly soybeans, because uh, you can get that bar high enough um, pretty much at any stage, growth stage of the soybean. Um, crops like corn, corn grows too tall, you can't lift the bar above the corn, and usually corn competes with the weeds, keeps pace with them. You know, you can eliminate a lot of weed pressure and you could actually make it to the point where, you know, it's manageable to, you know, just go out there and do it by hand where prior to running the weed zapper, it would be almost impossible to get through a field uh, economically, um, get rid of your weeds, you know, prior to running the weed zapper across. So after you hit the beans once and you go through and do your first flush, um, you'll knock out the taller weeds. Um, they'll fold over, they'll die, and um, another weed flush. So if all your weeds are not above the canopy and cannot be touched by the weed zapper, uh, they'll still be alive in over a week or two's time. You know, you'll notice more weeds coming up in your field. Um, so depending on you know your pressure you may have your weed pressure you may have to go out and do another pass um, to clean up your field uh, so we found that it's better off waiting to get you know some tall weeds that are you know a foot to uh, two feet above the canopy and then you also get some shorter weeds in there too that are maybe six to eight inches above the canopy. Once you go through at that stage you get more of a, a weed kill versus just trying to get them as they come up over the canopy. We have gone and zapped for farmers um, and they've only had us do a certain portion because they did not know how effective the machine was going to be. Um, so far we've had farmers uh, in that situation end up calling us back to come and do more acres. Um, because it just, it eliminates a huge weed problem, um, kind of can save a bean crop. Uh, in the past uh, we would uh, hire people to walk through our bean fields. Um, and pull all the weeds by hand or um, hoe them out. Um, the problem with that is, is if you get late season and the weed pressure is bad and the weeds are tall, the more weeds you pull out, the ones with bigger root masses get harder to pull out and when you pull them out, they also pull out beans with it.
After we run through a field, uh, you'll notice a difference. You might be able to just look across the field and see the difference, see a line in the field where you've been and where you haven't, because as soon as you zap those weeds, they bend over um, and start to die. Um, if you go out there and you pull, a, pull the weed and analyze it, it's not gonna turn completely black right away. If you go out, you know, say a week after, you'll see, walk through the field, you will see the weeds bent over, laying on the ground, um, and drying up and dying. One weed we found uh, that is a little bit of a challenge is cockleburr. Cockleburr, um, we found, likes to only compete and that's it. Um, so it doesn't really shoot up above the beans, um, but if it does get above the beans and we do make contact with the cockleburr, it will kill the cockleburr. One other question is, is, you know, what does it cost? What's the return? On an organic end, you know, it's going to cost two or three bushels of beans to go across your field. Um, and not only that, you are killing off weeds that, you know, will not make seed anymore. So, you know, you don't have to worry about increasing your seed bank, your weed seed bank, and dealing with that in the up and coming years.